shuttle diplomacy at all levels to defuse the growing hostility between Russia and the West over the Ukraine conflict seems to be failing. U.S. President Joe Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin, they held telephonic conversations for over an hour, but the talks failed to yield any results. During the call, U.S. President Joe Biden insisted that Russia will face swift and severe costs if Russian troops carry out an invasion and that such a step would produce widespread suffering and isolate Moscow. Washington says that the call between the two leaders has brought no major change in the Ukraine standoff. A White House statement said that the United States remains prepared to engage in diplomacy and it is also prepared for other scenarios. Both leaders, however, have agreed to continue dialogue. Just hours before this unfruitful call, phone call, Washington rang Moscow for another attempt at diplomacy. Secretary of State Antony Blinken discussed a probable headway with his Russian counterpart. Sergei Lavrov warned against Western nations' propaganda campaign. Russia claims that the United States is trying to provoke aggression against Ukraine. They also discussed NATO's response to Moscow's proposal on the security guarantees. Lavrov accused the bloc of ignoring key provisions. Russia is secu sec uh, binding security guarantees from the West. These include a pledge to roll NATO forces out of Eastern Europe and to never expand into Ukraine. Washington has flatly rejected the demands but has offered talks on a new European disarmament agreement with Moscow. Both calls came after hours, hours after the White House said that Russia could carry out an invasion into Ukraine any day now, even before the end of the Beijing Winter Olympics. According to reports, U.S. Secret Service, CIA and the Pentagon are said to have received an intel of an exceptionally detailed invasion plan scheduled for the 16th of February. Washington's warning of an all-out Russian invasion any day intensified weeks of tensions between Russia and the West. Following a frenzy of telephone diplomacy, Kremlin in a statement denounced Washington's statements, calling it peak hysteria. After French President Emmanuel Macron, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is due to travel to Kiev on Monday and then visit Putin. European leaders are striving to keep lines of communication open with Moscow. Scholz had earlier added his voice to European pledges to punish Russia with severe sanctions targeting its financial and energy sector if it invades Ukraine. Now, earlier in the day, we were joined by Director of the Ukrainian Institute of Politics, Ruslan Botnik, where he spoke about the Biden-Putin talks and Washington's warning of an imminent attack. Listen in. It looks like uh, both sides try uh, to push Ukraine to make an uh, agreement on Donbass uh, case, uh, to fulfill the Minsk agreement, so-called, or to push Ukraine to uh, fulfill any uh, unofficial agreements between the United States and Russia. Now, also, it should also it should be like a panic, just a panic, because the United States uh, has the situation in Afghanistan uh, one year, half a year before, and now they are very scary to uh, for uh, to repeat this situation in Ukraine, and they trying to do something before. It looks like maybe it, it has few reasons. The first reason is maybe it's panic uh, after Afghanistan. The second reason maybe it's the game with Russia. They are just trying to scare Ukrainian government and to push Ukrainian government to fulfill agreements between Russia and West or Minsk agreements. So, so. And the third one is, uh, should be just an uh, uh, internal uh, political game inside of United States. Because it's game, Russian aggression, so-called Russian aggression on Ukraine, it's uh, moving the focus of society mind to this topic, from the economical problem, COVID problem, and many other inside of the United States political uh, situation. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.